Growing up, we all had our local ponds, rivers, or creeks that made us the fishermen we are today. I live here, on the border of North Dakota and Minnesota, and this is the system I grew up fishing. This is the Red River of the North. I grew up along the banks of this mysterious murky wonderland. Never knowing what I could catch was always the biggest oh, draw for me. This river is home to more than 70 species of fish, including some world-class game fish. Some of the more common fish I grew up catching were carp, suckers, gold eye, freshwater drum, northern pike, and walleye. Some of the more uncommon fish I've seen caught include smallmouth bass, lake sturgeon, yellow perch, rock bass, and crappie. All these are a blast to catch and I'm always excited with whatever decides to bite the hook. But the crowned apex predator of this river system is the channel catfish. The Red River is widely known for its channel catfish opportunities, yet it's underutilized by a lot of anglers. I'm proud to be a part of the greasy group of river rats who take advantage of this amazing fishery we have in our backyards. Now that's enough talking, let's go catfishing. Alrighty you guys, before we get right into the fishing here, I'm going to do a quick setup guide on how I set up my rod. For those who are interested in that kind of stuff, if you already know how to catfish and all that, you can skip past this. Or if you're just interested in what I'm using, stick around here and we'll get this done quick and get into the fishing. So the rod I'm using today is my Ugly Stick GX2. This is a 6'6", medium heavy action rod. I think medium heavy action rods are uh, about perfect for the channel cat fishing that I do. I really don't catch much fish over 20 pounds. Like 20 pounds is about the biggest I usually run into. And, you know, I'm still pretty confident that I could pull in a bigger fish on this setup. Um, the reel I'm using, this is the Daiwa BG reel. This is a this is a pretty sick reel. You don't have to get something this nice. Uh, on my other rod, I use a Daiwa Crossfire reel, which is like a $30 to $40 reel, I think. And I'm just using some 30 pound braid, whatever braid you like works. This is Cast King. I just kind of like the colors, I guess. But, you know, you can get some fancy expensive braid if you want. This stuff was only, I think, $11 for like 400 yards of it. But we'll feed her through here and I'll get to what I used to set the rod up. 6.6 six might seem like a, a short rod. A lot of people like to use those seven to eight foot length rods for catfishing. But being I do a lot of kayak fishing and I really don't need the need for like long casts or anything like that, I prefer a shorter rod so that it doesn't get caught up in the trees and stuff. Just makes it more uh, maneuverable, if that's the word I'm looking for. I kind of like 6.6. Six. That's like my favorite length of rod. My other ugly stick is the uh, ugly stick catfish rod, which I'm pretty sure is just a GX2 with a different color on it. I don't really know. Maybe there's something different about it. That's a 7 foot rod though. Not too much different. Alright, got that ready. Next thing we got to do is put on a weight and a swivel. So I think on this rod I'm going to put, I'm going to start with a four ounce weight. Our water is still really high here. Um, we've been flooded all spring. This is actually the first time I've been able to get out on the river, the Red River at least. I've been able to hop on some of the tributaries that have um, gotten back into their banks. But the Red River in uh, Fargo here where I live is just, just getting below flood stage, just leveling out here. So four ounce weight, I'm going to put this little bead underneath my weight to protect my knot from my swivel here, a little snap swivel. So the knot I'm going to use to tie on my swivel here is a polymer knot. I'm sure there's a million videos explaining how to tie a polymer knot and whatnot, but I enjoy it because it's a simple knot to tie uh, and it's very strong. You just go through once, you go back through. So you have this little, you have two threads aligned through there. You do a simple overhand knot. Simple overhand knot. I cinch it down a little bit. And then you just feed whatever you're tying on through that little loop there. And tighten it up. And that's, I mean, I've never had problems with this knot. This knot is strong, man. Good to go, trim off the tag end. The hooks I use, size five circle hooks, I believe. Could be off, doesn't really matter. Um, something big enough to hold a chunk of cut bait. Some people like bigger hooks, some people like smaller hooks, just whatever you prefer, I guess. Plus one thing I didn't know is that all 
hooks aren't sized the same, so the size 5 in one brand versus the size 5 in a different brand, they might not even be the same. So, so what I do, like for the part that connects to my leader, is a loop knot, or a surgeon's loop I think they call it. It's a very simple knot. You would think it would break, but it doesn't. I've snagged up plenty of times with this knot, and uh, the line will break before this knot breaks. It's just a simple overhand knot with the loop. Tie it tight, and then you just got this little loop right there. And then I just tie a polymer knot again to connect my circle hook. Cinch it up. A lot of people like to snell their catfishing hooks, and that's fine too. That's a strong knot as well. I just, I don't know, I just like the polymer knot. It's just what I'm used to tying. I can tie it up real fast. That's, that's the setup I personally use. You know, some people don't like using these... Some people don't like using these snap swivels. They prefer to use like a barrel swivel and tie the line straight to that. But I have, I've caught plenty of big fish on this setup and this little loop knot does just fine holding together. But uh, that way I can tie up a bunch of these little uh, circle hook leaders with that loop knot and I can just put them on a hook saver or whatever you call them. So that way when I get snagged up I can just throw a new hook on. But that's it guys. That's the setup. We got a four ounce sinker, flat sinker, a little bead, a swivel, 25 pound uh, leader, and a circle hook. I like to use um, like five pounds lighter of a leader than my main line so that way if I do get snagged up that leader is going to break and I still get to save my weight. I've seen some people, uh, they like to use heavier line as their leader but to me that really doesn't make too much sense because then you're just going to lose your whole setup if you get snagged. But yeah, that's it. Time to go catfishing. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, everyone, we made it out to my spot here. I'm fishing a river bend with a tributary running into it. It's a great spot to find catfish. It's a great spot to find any kind of fish, to be honest. Walleyes, pike, any sort of predatory fish will hang out here because there's a lot of bait for them to feed on, which is what I need to catch first. So I'm gonna be just throwing this jig and a bobber and a night crawler, and we're gonna catch some gold eye. When you're trying to find some gold eyes, look for some uh, dead water, little breaks in the bank or big spots like this is just a big circling dead water area where gold eyes will hang out. You can find them next to like wood piles and stuff too. Any sort of current break. A lot of the time they'll hit it as soon as it hits the water, so I wouldn't wait too long on one cast. Yep, there we got him. Now that's what we're looking for. Ugh. Gold eye. Take this guy, we're gonna chop him up and we're gonna put him on some circle hooks, guys. Rusty ugly stick. Gonna hook this fresh gold eye on there. I'm gonna kind of fish both the off current and the on current today. See where the catfish are hanging out. Don't waste these juicy guts, guys. Throw that on the hook too. Yummy. All right, let's get out there. This first one, I'm gonna try to get it way out there, right off that point there. Oh, he's a turtle. See if there's anything over there, and then I'm gonna throw another one kind of out more into the main current. Fish on. I was kind of losing faith for a second. I wasn't even getting bites from little ones, and then this one just, just smoked it. up over there now. Nice channel cat. Left my net over there, dang it. Get this fish in. Fish is unhooked. 
on the board for today. How about that one? Beautiful Red River Channel. Nice fat one. Crush that gold eye right out in the main current, or on the current seams. But yeah, I'm gonna release this guy. Nice healthy fish. There he goes. Nice, nice, nice. That was fun. So I caught that one out in the current. That's exactly where I'm going to throw this one. Right back out there. Almost a prime time here for catfishing. Hooked up again. Sure, we're recording this time. This is what the Red River is all about, you guys. Just insane catfishing. This is another nice one, it feels like. God, I miss this. Actually have my net this time. Oh. is always when they wake up right when they get to the bank <laughs> another nice one got him in the net awesome all right here's catfish number two you guys caught about 20 minutes in between 20 minutes from that last one Another beauty. Look at this catfish. Big, healthy Red River Channel. Go get this fish back home. Back in the murky waters where it came from. The beautiful murky waters of the Red River. Here you go, big guy. There she goes. Oh, I miss this, you guys. This is my favorite time of the year. We're gonna try to get another one. Seems like it's heating up. That one was on my frozen gold eye. <clears throat> frozen gold eye works just as well. It's just, um, if you don't keep it frozen uh, and it thaws out on you, it gets real mushy real fast. There we go. It's a good cast, finally. Haven't been able to get this one out where I want it. Throw a nice headpiece over there. I think that's a good spot. See if we can break in this new ugly stick. I, I bought this rod for freaking catfishing, but haven't even been able to use it for that, really. Or got any nice ones on it. I've just been, oh, oh, oh. Are we hooked up again? If he has it. Yeah, he has it. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's a nice one. Oh, maybe not. It's not a small one. Oh, I needed this day. I can't tell you guys how many uh, failed cat catfishing trips I've had this year so far.
another beauty. Smaller than the other two, but a nice one nonetheless. This one's probably barely 10 pounds. Oh, come on. There we got him. There we got him. Another healthy one. Here he goes. I lost me boot, friends. Sorry, that was unnecessary. I didn't mean to make that sound. Sorry, habit. Oh, this rod was just torqued over. <laughs> this is on that headpiece. This could be a really nice one. I need to, I need to reel this rod in for peace of mind. We do not want to have a situation on our hands. The old crotch hold always works. Now let's break in this GX2, baby. Look at that rod. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. <sighs> Haven't even seen him yet. <laughs> Fatty. Fatty McFat pants. Get, on, get in there, baby. Got him. Man, that's a good one. That's a thick boy. Oh. Look at the belly on that one. <laughs> What a pig. That one ate that gold I had. Oh, he was ready. That was a beautiful fish. Hell of a gut on that one. Yeah, it's just another one. Another really nice one, probably. This is like catching bluegills off a dock out here, you know what I mean? Very large. Angry bluegills. There we got him. A little bit smaller than the last few, but not a slouch by any means. Worked up yet? Oh, 
We're gonna have to reel in this rod again. Oh, that's, that's a nice fish. That one's broke off, okay. That one was on a tree or something. This is another big one. I'm barely moving them. This is a really nice one. This is a really big one. Yeah, this is a big one. I'm sorry if I keep saying that a lot. I'm just like shitting my pants a little bit here, you guys. Just barely tugging on this one. I think this is the biggest of the day. Or oh, he's just wrapped up funny, which could be. These circle hooks usually do a pretty good job of getting them right in the corner of the mouth. Come on, buddy. Come on. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's another really nice one. Oh, man. God, that fish fought hard, you guys. Holy moly. All right, let's take a look at this fish. This is going to be the last one of the day, you guys. Good girth on this one. Holy moly. Look at that fish. Look at that channel cat. The Red River of the North. What an incredible fishery we have here. I'm so lucky to live here. We're gonna get him back. <laughs> what a beast of a catfish. Alrighty, you ding-dongs. Story time with your favorite neighborhood catfisherman, Mr. John here. That's going to do it for us today. That was, you know, not a bad couple hours of fishing in my book. I mean, it was pretty incredible. Um, the reason why I made this a little bit more in-depth video, I guess, a more meaningful video to me at least, is because the Red River... Uh, really is a meaningful waterway to me. It's, it's my home water, it's the water I grew up on. You know, it's a mystery to a lot of people in North Dakota and a lot of people even around the country, I guess. You know, avid fishermen obviously know what we have going on out here, but you know, non-fishermen or even maybe just some casual fishermen who do it for fun every now and again, you know, it's a big mystery to them. They just look at the Red River as, you know, this dangerous waterway that floods every year, you know, causes a bunch of damage, but truly it is a really, magical ecosystem out here. I mean, we have some really awesome fishing out here. So you guys need to get out here and try it if you haven't yet. As always, I appreciate you all for watching. Um, I'm probably gonna go on a little spree of catfishing videos here since it's been such a long spring and I haven't been able to get out and do it. But yeah, I appreciate you all for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, I appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. Nice, that was a big splash. Yeah, I appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And yeah, we're going to go on to the next one. Thank you for watching. Deuces.